What is up guys? Welcome back to Learn, Share, Photo and Video. My name is CJAM. This is part three of our exposure triangle series. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to adjust your camera's shutter speed to get better exposure in your photos. But before we get started guys, I just want to let you know that on this channel, we discuss photography and videography tips. So take a minute to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss any future videos. Now, as we discussed in our last two videos, your exposure triangle is made up of your aperture, ISO and shutter speed. Now your camera's shutter speed is simply the amount of time that your camera's shutter remains opened when you're taking a picture. And this time is measured in seconds. And these measurements of seconds may be in fractions of seconds or whole numbers. You may also be wondering what is the shutter and the shutter is the mechanism inside your camera that makes the snapping or clicking sound when you're taking a picture. The smaller the fractions, the faster your shutter speed will be versus the larger the whole numbers, the slower your shutter speed will be. Using a faster shutter speed will let less light into the camera because the camera's shutter is open for a short period of time versus using a slower shutter speed where the shutter is open for a little bit longer will let more light into the camera which will give you a brighter image. Faster shutter speed, less light. Slower shutter speed, more light. Shooting in low light conditions require using a slower shutter speed and shooting in bright conditions require the opposite where you opt for a faster shutter speed. Now let's take a look at how your shutter speed actually affects your exposure and how your shutter works inside of your camera. Now if you look on your LCD screen on the back of your camera, you'll find your shutter speed being displayed with a fraction and mine is right here where I'm touching on the screen. If I also go ahead and roll the command wheel on the back of the camera, that will change my shutter speed. Now let's go ahead and take some pictures at various shutter speeds to see how it affects our exposure. And we're going to start at 1 1 60th of a second. Now let's go to 1 3 20th of a second. Then 1 6 40th of a second. And then finally 1 12 50th of a second. Now here's a side by side of the pictures we just took and the difference in exposure with the different shutter speeds that we used. Now let's go ahead and set up a low light situation. We're going to start at 1 400th of a second and then we'll slow it down some more. So let's go. Then we'll come down to 1 200th of a second. We'll come down some more to 1 100th of a second. And then finally, we'll go a little bit slower with 1 50th of a second. And as we can see right here from our side by side comparison, 1 50th of a second gave us more light coming into the camera, which gave us a brighter image. Now here's a close up look of what's going on inside of your camera when you're taking a picture. Now these are faster shutter speeds. And here are some slower shutter speeds. And you can clearly see the difference between how long the shutter is open between the faster shutter speeds and the slower shutter speeds. Okay guys, that does it for today's video and that closes out our exposure triangle series. Thank you so much for being a part of it and thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a like and a comment if you want to give some feedback. Once again, my name is CJAM and I will see you guys in the next video.